Hi, I'm Kelsey Murdoch and welcome to the SUTV News Break for Monday, November 23rd, 2009. Today on the webcast, an opportunity to do service abroad, find out about one Cedar City group that aims to help. This and more straight ahead. While most of us have a home to go at the end of the day and a family to visit during the holidays, not everyone will have this luxury this holiday season. Today and tomorrow, SUTV is going to take a look at Cedar City's Care and Share Homeless Shelter. Between the cold weather and tough economy, much of the shelter's capacity is already full. The shelter runs a 45-day program for residents to help them get back on their feet. The first 14 days are free, followed by a $7 a day fee to help residents share the shelter's cost. One thing that people forget about moving someone from poverty to middle class the main component in that is not finances and it's not a job. The number one component is a good network, a supportive network system. We will bring you more about the homeless shelter and ways you can help tomorrow. A little farther from home, students looking for service opportunities in Africa will have a chance next summer through SUU's Study Abroad program. Reasons for participating in the Kenya Study Abroad program may vary, but we spoke to one woman who explained what keeps drawing her back to help. And I just stood there and watched her go back down the dirt road to her little shamba to be able to tell her mother, now that she had shoes, she could go to school. And I thought, at that moment, I want to be able to offer as many children as possible that opportunity to have an education. SUU Athletics came back over the weekend after a series of tough defeats last week. The SUU football team won their last game of the season Saturday against the University of San Diego, 37-32. That game gives the football team their best record since 20, 2004. Successes as well for the men's basketball team. The team defeated Wayland Baptist 79-61 Saturday in the Centrum, leading by as much as 28 points during the game. One area the T-Birds will try to improve in? Turnovers. SU committed 19 turnovers compared to 10 by Wayland Baptist. The next basketball game is scheduled for 7 p.m. Wednesday in the Centrum. For the latest headlines seven days a week, make sure to visit SUNews.com. We'll be back with another news break tomorrow. For SUTV News, I'm Kelsey Murdoch.